we're going to be moving on to the sign of Aries. And you know, I like to play music while I pull up the card. So let's let's put on some energizing music here while I pull the cards for Aries. Let's see what we're going to share with the sign of Aries. Tell me the spirit, the special message. We're going to share with the sign of Aries. Ooh, something popped out. Okay, I was just getting to the wow. Aries, you got a message coming. Show me clearly, divine spirit. Show me clearly. I knew it. I knew that was coming. I saw it out the corner of my eye. Show me clearly. Show me clearly, divine spirit. Special message for the sign of Aries. Oh, there's another sharing with the sign of Aries. Anything else? Show me clearly the answer. Not the last one. Show me clearly. Any last parting message? There it is. Yes! Yes, I'm not even going any further. It's beautiful. Okay, so Aries, this is a very interesting read, okay? I'm really shocked at how it turned out. Your first card, Wheel of Fortune, it's a 10. 10 breaks down to a one. One in numerology and astrology is what? Aries! I'm telling you, Aries, this is all, it's all good in the hood. It's getting better, okay? You start on a Wheel of Fortune and you got the Seven of Cups, okay? I think you've got options, you've got choices, emotional opportunities. I mean, chances for fulfillment. All of this is in your radar, okay? No matter what. But I do see that there could be the, an ending, a depth of something could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I think you're ending something. I think something's ending. I have a lot of choices on that Wheel of Fortune. So I think you're ending something so that you can begin and get what you need and what you want. And next was the devil. Some of you Aries might be dealing with a Capricorn, but I think this just has to deal with like um, seven, I always say that seven deadly sins. It's lust and greed and envy and jealousy and all of those types of things. And just wanting to control others and the situation. You might have to watch out for that. I think you're going to be judged. There's a judgment coming. It's reap what you sow time. And, you know, it puts an end to whatever is not just. So be aware of that, that a judgment is being made. And next was the Knight of Coins. And I, this could be, uh, I always think of Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn uh, coins, but it is getting that strategy. It is getting, knowing exactly what to do, like maybe even an offer. So he's kind of offering out the coins here and someone's got their hand out to take it. Yeah, that type of situation. But whatever you're doing, uh, Aries, I think you might actually just be chilling hangman this is in the current position so it you're it, either you're just hanging around waiting for things to happen or i'm going to recommend you take a moment to meditate and do affirmations and pray before you make something happen one or the other think about it you know this is a really a think hard about it card the look the next card that came up was the King of Coins. This really could be about money. This really could be about a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo too. So Aries, it, it, either way. But I think it could be about money and bringing in, uh, you know, this money, this opportunity. Oh, yeah. Look, here's the seven of staffs. I feel like if this is anything to do with a competition, I, I think you'll win. If it has something to do with an argument, I think you also will win. But you have to have fortitude. You, you know, you have to have integrity in whatever you're doing. And I think, especially when it comes to money, you know, with the King of Coins right next to it, 
have integrity. You might have like a lot of choices maybe for money and it's about having integrity. But the, the last two cards that came out, I almost screamed because, you know, like I said, you started on the wheel of fortune and I thought, oh, really? So the first, the next card you got, it's your card. It's you, Aries. Ace of Staffs. This is your ace. This is your highest potential. So whatever is going on, uh, take advantage of it, Aries. Don't forget Sagittarius is trying Aries. So you're in a very harmonious period right now. Take advantage of it between now and the 21st. Get everything done that you can get accomplished. I mean, it's your time for victory. Why not? And talk about victory. Bam, here it is, the chariot. Aries, you got something really beautiful coming. This is victory. This is success. And it's coming quickly. So I'm going to take these cards and pull them apart like I like to do. See if there's any additional messages or anything I missed, because sometimes that happens. And also when I lay them out together, they also, wow, this is a very unique reading. Just so that you know, unbeknownst to me, I this is why I do this, so I can see things. So first of all, there were only two minor arcana face cards, which is, uh, there was the king of coins and the knight of coins. So there is money and there's the strategy about the money. <laughs> and then there's an ace of staff telling me, hey, you know, you got new beginnings here that could uh, help make this money true if you strategize just right. So, you know, whatever it is, it could be new ideas. It could be new ventures, new business. Uh, you might open a new business. It's something like that. But whatever it is, you could definitely be, be successful. And then I found that you had two sevens in your, your reading, which I didn't even notice when I was doing it, that there were two sevens. And this is what two sevens in a reading means. It's signs and messages from God, Aries. The spirits and the universe. Signs and messages from God also impactful relationships and a significant time in your job, career, or business. I told you, I'm, I'm just picking up on some kind of business, some kind of new venture. The potential is there, Aries. Okay, so look, you got a lot of major arcana, a lot, uh, more than normal. I'm going to read them backwards. I like to do that. It tells a story. You know, everything started out for you, Aries, on the Wheel of Fortune, which is a 10 card or one card. It breaks down, you know, basically an Aries card. It's like taking a chance, uh, you know, going out on a limb, you, you know, around and around and around she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. But you get out there and you take that chance. And I think it's gonna put an end to something in your life. Maybe an end to not having what you want. Maybe an end to not having enough money. I'm not sure, but something's ending. And here's the devil. This could be something that could deal with a boss. I, I got to just put that out there. But it could just be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, it could, again, be dealing with those coins because, you know, Capricorn is a coin sign. I'm thinking it's the seven deadly sins. Like, you know, be careful of being too greedy or coveting what someone else has. That's the envy, right? Or jealousy. Uh, trying to control other people and manipulate them so you can get what you want. That That's what that devil card really signifies. And there's the judgment because you're going to be judged. I mean, you don't want to screw up because you're going to be judged. What we, you know, what we read, we sow. We sow what we read, right? Is that it? So be careful because there's judgment. So take your time. Think it over, meditate, pray on it before you do anything. And then when you act, you'll be victorious because you'll be a winner. Okay, so that's my reading for you, Aries. I hope this resonates with some Aries out there. If you haven't already done so, take a moment to like, share, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, uh, stop by our website, Astrology Look Inside and subscribe to our website so you know when I'm going, uh, well, uploading blog posts and 
new products and stuff like that, okay? So much love and light to you, Aries. May your December be a beautiful one. And remember to take advantage of the next couple of weeks while, uh, you know, the sun is trying your your sun. Okay? Blessings. Thank you.